good question. And, and it's hard to, to answer it right out and straightforward. I'd say 26 years old. But to follow up a little bit, I think that... That's a good question. I think that, like, everyone has phases of life, and however long, nine months, year and a half, however long it lasts, I think you take the little parts of yourself and you move on to the next phase, and you kind of shed what you don't need. So it's not, it's not something you can just decide upon. You don't decide you're going to be yourself. You just, it takes a long, long, long time, some longer than others. I don't think most people ever really know. And hopefully I will continue to evolve as well. But I really felt most comfortable with myself when I turned 26 years old. Birth. Um, at what point in my life? That's a really good and a really tough question. We can go really long and talk about this one. Dude, do long. But, um, I don't know. I, mean, I think everybody has points in their life that are super low and they're super high. And I think those little things in, that happen in life really add to like who you are and how strong and how you know, tough and weak you are at times. Um, I think everybody goes through those times regardless of how old or how young you are. And you know, I don't think anybody could ever be 100% comfortable you know, with like, everything that's going on. But I would say like right now in my life at the age of 28 uh, is the happiest I've ever been. It's I've had so much to look forward to. And all that was was just taking a chance and just doing what I wanted to do. I know there's a lot of people out there who maybe are stuck in a job and are stuck you know, in a bad relationship. Get rid of all that stuff. Get rid of all those toxins in your life. You don't need that stuff. Anybody who brings you down in their, their level, get rid of them. And that's my advice is just, you know, do what you want. Just be who you're, be happy, be who you are. I really like this question. Um, I'd say I realized I wasn't gonna live like the cookie cutter lifestyle when I was about 13. I met most of my friends that are my best friends today just going to shows and stuff and it was like a whole different lifestyle. And then I started riding BMX and I met Dennis and all those dudes and they were just like doing it, doing life the right way I guess you want to say. I'm a little bit younger than them. But uh, yeah, emotionally and, and physically, mentally, um, this is the most content I've been with myself and I want to say the last two years, maybe, have been, have been hell, but uh, I think you have to go through hell a few times to find yourself, and it, uh, you just gotta make sure you come out better every time. Everyone goes through bad stuff, I'm not gonna ever compare myself to anybody, and uh, yeah, you just kinda gotta go through hell to find yourself, and just make sure you come out better. You're gonna get burned, but just make sure you come out a little bit better on the other side, and it's just about growing as a human, as a person. And, just uh, experiencing things and meeting people and trading ideas with people and just understanding, even if you don't agree with someone, understanding them and you can just grow as a person. And uh, yeah, and I never thought I'd end up in LA talking to an iPad and answering questions for you guys, but it's, it's real strange. But yeah, it's just, uh, it's really weird how I became me right now, but um, it's been a, it's been a hard, there's some hard times, but I don't think I would ever go back and not do it the same way. I do. I, do, I think the hardest, the hard songs we always get rid of, so I have to keep <laughs> playing them. But I think the hardest song that we currently play live, and it, none of them are hard after like 10 minutes, but the hardest song to learn is, for me was The Elegance of Decay. The song's fucking brutal. Spider, spider fingers for like four minutes straight. And it has a weird rhythm to it. Other than that, None of them are really all that hard. They're yeah. deliberately very, very simple. <laughs> Four chords. Hardest song on guitar. They're all pretty easy. We, we started taking it easy on ourselves when we started playing live more often because we want to be able to move around a little bit. But uh, I think the hardest for me is anytime Dennis writes a part and we switch parts and I have to play his lead or something and we, we're just two completely different different styles of guitar playing and um yeah so anytime I have to learn to play like Dennis on a song it takes me it's a little challenge but after a practice or two they're not too hard you guys could probably figure them out without even maybe one or two listens my favorite movie is Ghostbusters ever since I was like a little kid it's been my favorite movie um Ray. role models uh yeah. I don't think I have a single role model uh, I would say like one of them or all together uh, my friends have been a huge role model with me taking like bits of their personalities and you know and that so I would say my friends 
favorite movie <laughs> series would be the Terminator series. Beep. And as of role models, I don't think I have any role models, yeah. honestly. My favorite movie is Titanic. Say we'll go there, Jack. I don't have any role models. Maybe Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. James Cameron. You gotta get on the corner. Yeah, James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> favorite movie um I don't think I have one favorite movie one I do watch all the time is Haggard Bam Margera directed it it's from like 2003 and it's hilarious we quote it all the time everyone just, oh it's just it's super funny if you don't know what it is go watch Haggard right now it'll change your life but um recently I've just been watching Tim Burton films or uh anything with Robert Downey Jr. Dave Haig. Dave Haig rules. I'm coming home in October. I lost a dread. We can have all sorts of fucking tea. We have to have that potluck that we were supposed to have. We're going to have that in October. And send me some of your music because I like it.